Uh, just an injury report right now, John Brantley will not practice this week, and we're hoping to get him back Monday. Uh, but he's off crutches and uh, moving around a little bit, and uh, hopefully we'll get him out there and let him throw a little bit this week. But as far as practice is concerned, we're going to hold him and hopefully, again, to get him back Monday, and I'll be able to hopefully update you a little bit more at that point. Uh, you know, it's tough to always have an open week after a loss, certainly after three. Uh, but I, we are a banged-up football team. We really need to work on fundamentals of what we're trying to do and uh, up front on both sides of the ball, searching for some answers offensively. Our entire staff was recruiting uh, yesterday uh, uh, on the road recruiting. We're coming back to today, Wednesday and Thursday. I mean, Tuesday and Wednesday being fundamental days of really just working on us good on good. Uh, and then Thursday we'll start our preps on Georgia. As far as on the field, we start as a staff on Sunday. So, uh, so that's kind of where we are. And then Friday we'll have a team lift and, uh, and run them, and then Sunday come back for a team dinner and some walkthroughs and some meetings uh, as we move forward to Georgia. Right now offensively, Jacoby Brissett and Jeff Driscoll will split reps this week 50-50 as far as, uh, as we prepare through this week, working on some things that we feel like we need to do to get better. Uh, up front, we need more consistent play and being able to, to run the football. we got to play better around the quarterback position regardless of who's playing that position. Thus far in the season into seven games, John Halapia has probably been our most consistent performer. Matt Patchen's played really well in the last two football games, and uh, we just need more consistent play there. Frankie Hammond's been our most consistent receiver. If you look for a seven-game season, Andre DeBose has been a nice uh, – done some nice things in the, as far as making some big plays for us vertically down the field. Uh, but we need more – uh, playmaking ability outside and more consistent play as far as uh, the wide receiver position. Chris Rainey has done some, some really nice things. We've got to do more in the run game to help him. Mike Gillisley, Jeff Demps, Hunter Joyer is having a great freshman year. All of those guys have been productive. Trey Burton's really done a nice job in the package we've developed with him. Uh, so we've been able to move the football in the last two games uh, using that package, so we'll continue to build on that. Uh, more, we need more production from the tight end position. We have our opportunities. Uh, so we're looking for answers right now offensively, uh, working diligently as a staff to find what we can do to move the ball and score points. And we certainly understand in the last three games we haven't done that effectively enough regardless of the circumstances and the situation. We've got to find ways to move the ball and score. And that's what we're searching for at this point. We do, do feel like we left some plays on the field. Uh, against Auburn as far as having some, some opportunities to make some plays, and we just didn't quite, quite get it done. And that's, that's frustrating. I do want to apologize uh, for my language on the sidelines uh, the other night, and uh, that's not something that uh, is going to be tolerated here at the University of Florida, first of all, by me and our program, uh, but that's certainly not representative of this program, what this university is about.